It's a platform that's allowed me to tell stories you usually don't see told in mainstream media. What FSRN does is put the microphone up to the voices of people you normally don't hear from, and if you do hear from them, too often it's a whisper. They would call me something like faggot or dyke or words like that, and I'd have to literally look them up in the dictionary to find out what it was that they were insulting me with. The first story I did for FSRN was about a transgender college student, and the story got my attention when I learned that just seconds after he got on the metro in San Diego, complete strangers banded together to harass him and bully him just because of how he looked. And they immediately started asking him, are you a man or a woman? And it really got to me that someone minding his own business would be treated that way. And I could also relate because I was harassed as a child because of the way I looked. It was a story I had to tell and FSRN was the home for it. And now mind you, the story aired months before all the tragic stories in the media about bullying. I learned a lot in the process of doing the story and I hope that FSRN listeners also learned a lot too. For example, if you see someone who is presenting themselves as a man or a woman, you should address that person with the proper pronoun. Before doing the story, I wasn't sure exactly what to do, and it's not a matter of being politically correct, it's a matter of doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. I also learned that the suicide rate is very high for transgender kids, so tolerance and understanding really would go a long way. I've been in my own apartment for 15 years. I'm sorry, I'm crying. Um, and this was my dream. My dream was to run a salon for homeless people because my self-esteem was so low. I also contributed stories to FSRN about homelessness, and that's another topic that I've done a lot since I started in journalism. And one feature I did, and it, it was very moving to me, was about the homeless getting second chances. And I interviewed everybody from a former drug addict who now runs a beauty salon for homeless people to an AIDS patient. So if you're a transgender student, homeless, a drug addict, an AIDS patient, you're human. And you have a story. I've been able to tell those stories on FSRN.